What's going on guys? This is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to go over constraint layouts. So constraint layouts are kind of a new, fairly new anyway, a fairly new way to do layouts with Android and um, oh, what happened there? And uh, let me just change the screen, change it back, I don't know why that happens. Yeah, they're, anyway, they're a fa fairly new way to do layouts with Android, and they're pretty awesome. They're pretty similar to, if, you, if you've ever written Xcode, which is the Mac language, uh, it, they're very similar to the way that they do layouts. And uh, yeah, I have to say, like, I really, really like them. Linear layouts and relative layouts really don't compare in any way to this. So I, uh, I was trying to figure out what kind of a layout to build, and I was browsing my Twitter, and I saw a sort of this section right here and I thought oh that could be a cool little layout to build so that's what I'm going to build for you here I've already made it ahead of time obviously just to make sure everything was good and uh, now I'm gonna build it again for you guys in real time so let's create a new project actually I don't even need a new project I can just do I can just delete this and I'll uh, I'll make it again so I create I, my, my project is called constraint layout test but I mean I would just call it constraint layout or whatever you want to call it and I will delete all of these. The first thing that you'll have to do actually before you can start working with a constraint layout is you'll create a layout file and this is actually going to be a relative layout and what you need to do is convert it to a constraint layout. So I'll change that to a relative layout and then we got to go over to our design tab and we right click go to convert relative layout to constraint layout and then Android will create you a constraint layout. Once that's done, we can start building our layout. So first thing we will do is, let's get some images into our Drawables folder. So I have my Drawables folder already filled with some images that I want. I added um, this banner and just a picture of myself. This image I'm not gonna use, we can get rid of that. So pick uh, two images that you want to use can be anything like a landscape image or the, the image that you display on your Twitter, uh, anything. And then we'll go back to our layout file and scroll down to image view. And let's drag an image view in and select, I'm gonna select my banner, click okay. And there we go, we have my banner already in here. Now I'm just gonna resize this thing to, and I'm gonna set the width to match parent so that it occupies the entire layout. And I'm going to set the height to, I don't know, like 150 dp. And figuring out this part is the trickiest because I don't want any white space basically. So I'm going to have to change the scale. I'm going to change the scale type to center crop so that it crops all the white space. And now I'm going to need to try and fit it to occupy all the space. So the width I'll do match parent. Okay. And this height obviously isn't working because you can't see the whole, whole image. I don't know why this keeps coming off a of match parent. Let's change the height to, I don't know, 100, I guess. Okay, that looks better. It's almost there. Okay, let's change the height to 90 dp. That looks good. Okay. That way I have my whole banner in there and everything shows. But we want to make sure that this is going to fit on other screen sizes. So I need to go up to the uh, button up here, and this is how we can choose different phones. Right now I'm on a Nexus 5, which a lot of people use, it's very common, but we want to check what it's going to look like on the biggest screen. The biggest screen is the Nexus 10. So we click that, that still looks okay, and more than likely I'm not going to be able to get it to fit any better. This image is just a weird size, and it's not going to, it's not going to look any better than that. That's, that's not bad. It looks good on a 5, it probably looks pretty good on a 9, yeah it looks okay, and it looks not bad on a 10. So that's fine for our banner, we'll just... We'll just leave it at that. Next, we're gonna display that little profile picture image here. So we'll grab another image view and stick it right there and select my profile picture image and then shrink it right down. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can actually see. Okay, and now we need to add some constraints to these images. So this one, for example, we want to tie to the top of the page and the sides and tie this side to the side. Oh, now I got white space. I need to get rid of that spacing. So I got to get rid of this 
margin right here. So we'll turn that to zero margin, tie to that side and get rid of the margin. Oh, it's the width. There we go. Okay, so now we have this attached to both sides and zero margins, which is what we want. So that's good. Now we can add our image over here and we want to do the same thing. We want to add constraints. So let's, uh, let's constrain the sides to the right side and the side to that left side. And then we can slide this over and we'll constrain that to the top also. Mm, actually with different screen sizes that could, could cause problems. Let's see what it looks like. Let's switch over to a Nexus 10. Oh no, that looks okay. So it looks like that would be fine. Okay, so we'll stick with those constraints for the profile picture image. Oh, now this is all messed up again. It's this, uh, this layout width. This has got to stay match parent. Keep cutting out my little Android guy. I think I'm going to have to shrink this down more. Okay, and then fit that up top. Okay, that looks okay. Double check on the 10. That looks okay. All right, now if we look at our Twitter, I'll add uh, those two text fields there. So one that says Mitch Tabian and then the one that says at Mitch Tabian. So for the, for the Mitch Tabian one, let's just grab a plain text field and I'll put it here. And then for the at Mitch Tabian, I'll grab a text view. Okay. And so this we want to tie to the right and we want to tie to the left and up top. So it sits right there and let's change the text to say Mitch Tavian to match what Twitter says. Then we need to set this. So we'll align the side to this, align the side to that, and then align the bottom. And then we can place it somewhere else, make it a little bigger. And now I'll change the text. This will be at Mitch Tavian. That looks okay. Let's move it up a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty similar to what Twitter looks like. All right, next we'll get these text fields, tweets, following, and followers. So I'll add, uh, we'll do text views for that. So one, two, and, what did I drop third one in? Three. And what we wanna do with this is I'm gonna tie only one of them to the side and then I'm gonna tie the others to one another. So tie that to there, and then tie this one to that one. And I'm not gonna tie this one to that side because it will it will cause like an unevenness when I switch uh, screen sizes. I'll actually, I'll just demonstrate. So if I tie this to here, and on this screen size, I can they all look like they're about the same distance away. But if I then switch to a 10 inch, Look at that, this one is way farther away. So what you have to do is get rid of this link. So get rid of that link and then just tie one of them to the side and then use this one to move them all around. So if they're 48 apart here and 48 apart there and I can move this one over just a little bit more, then I can switch screen sizes and they'll stay 48 apart. So there you go, then that looks that looks much better. And, ooh, I need to fix, what orientation is that? There we go. So this, this looks kind of funny on the 10 inch screen too. This is too far over to the center. So I'm gonna move this over like that. Zoom out, that looks better. Now let's switch back to the five inch screen. Oh, we got a problem there, so we'll have to move it over a little bit more. Yeah, that looks okay. Now let's go back to the 10. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't really want that in the center. Maybe what I should try doing is tying the side of that image to this text field. So let's actually attach to there. Let's release the constraint and then I'm gonna attach it to here. There we go. And put it right there. That looks okay. Now let's go back to the five inch screen. That looks better. Yeah, it's much better when it's attached to the image. Okay, now we're gonna add some text to, the, to these. So this one's gonna be tweets, and this one will be following, and this one will be followers. Cool, all right, now we need to add some 
numbers down below these. So we'll just grab a number field and drag it in. I'm gonna zoom up a little here. And this is gonna be much smaller. We'll just make it about somewhere around there. 49 by 49, sure. Stick it under there. And then I'm gonna drag in another one. Hopefully I can get it to be 49 by 49 also. Uh, I'll just drag them in and I'll set the text size or the size manually afterwards. Drag it in, get it approximate, line it up. Now I'm gonna go to the text tab here and I'm gonna set those sizes manually. So I'll just do 50 and 50. So 50 DP and copy it through all these. Okay, and go back to design tab. Now all these are the same size and we can set some numbers. I'm just gonna put, ran, well, I don't know, I could copy my numbers, I guess. So I got 80, 74, and 48. So 80, 74, and 48. There we go. Now for the bottom part, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put in there, but uh, we can just add like a little description, maybe. Say you had like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of a little description like you have right here. So we'll just add a multi-line text field, which is exactly what it sounds like it is. If you have a ton of text, that's what you want to use it for. And actually, let's constrain it to the top of those. Oh, actually, these still need to be constrained to the top of this. Let's make sure we do that. Constrain all to the top of there, and then drag them and drag them all down together. Oh, I forgot to constrain those to the top of there too. There we go. And align that, and align that, and align that. Okay, and now select everything and drag it down a little bit. I don't know why they're not dragging down together. Those are connected. This is not connected. There we go. 48 apart. And that's fine. Line that up. Line that up and line that up. Okay. And then we can drag this up and want to constrain it to the sides also. We need to add some text in here. So, actually, what kind of height do I want? Let's do like 200 dp, sure. And the width can be match parent, but we have margins, that's fine. Okay. And I'm just going to add some random text. So, I just went to this randomtextgenerator.com. I'm just going to grab some of this text here and throw it inside of the text field. Hit enter. And sometimes it causes the windows to jump around, but it, it won't actually affect your layout. It just, in the demo, it looks like it's affecting it. And it looks like we're pretty much done. So let's uh, check it on a different screen size. That's horizontal. There we go. Oh, that looks, something's wrong there. So yeah, you just gotta keep kinda switching screen sizes and making sure everything's good. See, somehow, sometimes things come unconnected. See, somehow that got like unconnected. I don't know how or why. This has gotta be lined up with that. If it jumps around on you, just flip the orientation, flip it back. That looks good. That's connected, that's connected. That one is not connected. It keeps on connecting on me. So sometimes that happens, but you just gotta put the put the connections back in. Okay, that looks decent. If this would just stay lined up with that, that would be great. I don't know why it's not. Well, let me line it up to there. There we go. Okay, now let's try, go back to 10 inch vertical yeah these aren't uh, these aren't lining up like I want them to grab this do that that's fine 
All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's check the screen size on the five. That looks pretty good too. Except for this, this does not want to stay over here. Like I'll change it there. I'll go back to the 10. And then it's way over there somehow. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's, uh, it's because this isn't tied to there. Yeah, it's not, there we go. That's why. Somehow, so yeah, some of the, sometimes the constraints just get taken off somehow. I don't know why. There we go. And then if you got text that jumps around, which is really annoying, but just something you gotta deal with. So that looks okay. Now let's switch back to the five. There, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. That's horizontal. Yeah, see when I sit when I sit screen when I go to from five to ten, it goes horizontal on me. I gotta switch it back to vertical. But uh, anyway, looks to be good now. That's gonna be all for this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. I know I kind of jumped around. I didn't really I didn't really plan ahead or think about how I was gonna go over this uh, concept. But hopefully it was helpful. If it was, make sure you leave a like below. Now that you have my Twitter, you can follow me. I post all my tutorials to Twitter first, so if you want notifications when new tutorials are ready, that's the best way to get them. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.